the beauty of uh, human genome uh, uh, study was also began with a, a very big leap in uh, the analytical method. This is called the G DNA chip, and it allowed to uh, to determine the SNP, maybe uh, one million SNPs in one person with about $100. Okay, so for, for this type of analysis, this is called the Manhattan plot, because it looks like the skyscrapers from the Hudson River. This is uh, chromosome one, two, three, four, until chromosome 22 and X chromosome. And these are one million plots over here. And the Y axis this way is uh, the probability that that, stop, that uh, specific region is, uh, uh, is a marker for diabetes. So in this study, they used like 1,000 diabetic patients versus 1,000 controls and do some kind of uh, statistical analysis and they just point the, uh, place the dot. And like that, if it is higher, it means that this, is, this region is more susceptible, like, is likely a, a diabetic uh, loci, or lo locus. And by doing so, this type was, uh, analysis was very uh, GVAS, genome-wide association study was very, very powerful to uh, identify genetic locus for multifactorial diseases, including diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and things like that. So at this moment, 2017, or maybe 16, there are at least 80 SNPs, 80 genes, that account for type 2 diabetes susceptibility. So it's not like uh, monogenic diseases. Even if you check genes, you cannot tell that he or she will develop diabetes. There are 80 of them. And one more thing is that the each SNP, the effect is very small. One SNP accounts for like 5 to 20 percent increase of disease risk. This is very small. Usually, typically, smoking affects, uh, is a risk factor for lung cancer. And the lung cancer will be, let's say, if we, th if we think that it increases three times, this will be 300%. So you can now see how small one SNP increases the disease risk. You may think that this is something very uh, unlikely or skeptical, but this difference is very robust there is a 5 to 20% for one SNP. And uh, these are, so have combinatorial effects. And uh, even collecting all of these, uh, at this moment, a part of genetic factors can be explained, which means that there is a missing heritability, but I will not talk to this uh, and go forward with what we know now. These are the, uh, again, <clears throat> the genes by itself does not uh, cause uh, diabetes. In this case, there is a gene and environmental interaction which leads to the uh, metabolic syndrome phenotypes. And these are the studies that we have published. We have published a little bit of them. They have contributed to this field a little bit, but these are the ones. Uh, NOS3 SNPs and daily physical activity uh, <coughs> regulates blood pressure. ADH polymorphism SNP and alcohol intakes blood pressure. And ACE angiotensin converting enzyme indel insertion deletion uh, polymorphism and salt intake uh, regulates blood pressure. IL-6 receptor, this is a uh, inflammatory cytokine receptor, SNP and energy intake affects obesity. CFM, caring for well-being.